Well, since the violence in Sudan broke out, we've been working very hard to ensure the safety of both our diplomats and also British nationals. I'm really pleased that over the weekend we were able to safely evacuate our diplomats and their families, and we now have an operation underway to evacuate British nationals. The first flight has already left. There will be more flights this evening and into tomorrow. We're contacting people both directly, but also we've issued out a general call for people if they can make their way to the airfield, they will then be processed and safely evacuated. At the same time, we can't guarantee the, the long-term sustainability of the airfield that we're currently using, so we're also exploring and standing up other alternative routes for safe exit from Sudan. That work is also underway, it potentially in Port Sudan as one of those leading options, so we're doing that work in parallel as well. But rest assured, we're in contact with everybody. The airfield is now working, flights are taking off, British nationals have already left, and we will keep getting as many of them as we can on the planes as we, as we go forward. What we are also doing is working together with international partners to try and bring about uh, a more sustained ceasefire and hopefully a return to civilian government in Sudan. That's the, the best solution to avoid more humanitarian impact. That work is also ongoing. One of the things that this crisis centre brings together is all aspects of our response to Sudan. It's right that we focus on that as well.